Hey guys, Griffin here. Today we're going to talk about preparedness and why you should care about it. Uh, preparedness is just a general idea um, and you should apply it to your daily life, uh, It, in, in my opinion. Um, it's something that I am super passionate about and so I'm going to try and break it down in a very simple way so that you can take these principles and apply them to your daily life and, and the things that you interact with. So primarily, um, when I talk about preparedness, I'm talking about the act of preparing for something. And so anything that you might be interested in preparing for, for example, um, <laughs> you know, a tornado, uh, a natural disaster, um, or it could even be something like preparing for an exam that you have coming up. If you're a student, um, you could apply it to uh, getting ready to film for TV, uh, all sorts of things, right? And so in general in life, you are preparing for things without even realizing it, um, but the term prepper or preparedness might invoke certain uh, emotions in you about a specific type of person, the doomsday prepper, right? So somebody who's trying to prepare for the apocalypse. Now, we're not really going to go into that today, um, although the the ideas here could be scaled to something like that. I would recommend that you not scale them to something like that. Uh, it, realistically, um, you've got a lot of other things to worry about before you get to doomsday prepping, right? So let's talk about kind of the general idea and what you should be doing. So first, um, I just want to reiterate that you should be preparing for everything in your life. Um, it is a mindset and it will take some time to get to the point where you're kind of actively doing this instead of passively thinking about it, but you should be preparing f at least a little bit for everything in your life. Um, whether that be something as simple as writing some notes down on a pen and paper for an upcoming meeting, um, or actually going out and buying food so that you don't uh, starve if there's a, a grid down emergency or something like that, right? So um, Lady Luck will not wait around for you to get ready for an opportunity. And so if you can prepare yourself by starting activities now that will benefit you in the future, then that is the thing that can really lead to new doors for you, right? And so opportunity comes at the most inopportune times. And so you need to make sure that as a, as a human being, you're ready to take on that opportunity when it comes to you. Um, so some examples of that would be, uh, it's, it's really easy to relate that to your career. Um, if, for example, you're hesitant to accept a job on or a job posting and apply on LinkedIn um, because you're not sure that your portfolio is up to snuff. Well, then you're gonna not you're gonna hundred percent not get that job, right? Because you are too afraid to even apply. Um, versus if you had gotten your portfolio ready a month ago when you decided you'd sit down and do it, then you'd be ready to go and you could, uh, by extension, at least have an opportunity to get that job, right? And so. It's things like that, setting yourself up for success um, and making sure that every day you just do a little something, right? It's it's a really easy way to uh, ensure that you're going to be successful. And it's a great habit to get into because usually starting is the hardest thing. And once you can start something and really cement a habit, that is a really powerful force for good. Um, so the next thing I wanna talk about is why you shouldn't over-prepare. Now, I think this is something that uh, t tends to happen a lot uh, when we talk about preparedness, right? So um, you might be really worried about an exam that you have next week. And so you're going to spend the next eight to 12 hours studying and cramming for this exam. Um, you, you're going to often feel disappointed if you do about the same as you would have had you put in less effort, right? Uh, there's a law of diminishing returns in everything in life. And so if you are taking the time to really just hit it hard, um, oftentimes you'd be better served maybe hitting it hard for four hours and then going and taking a break, a work hard, play hard mentality. And you will be just as well off or maybe just a little bit less well off, but still just as good as if you had spent the eight hours studying, right? Because eventually your brain's not going to be able to process all of that information and store it in a way that you can access later. Um, it's just going to start to blur together. And so realistically, um, that's a great example of over-preparedness. Another example would be doomsday prepping, like trying to think that, 
oh man, I need a gas mask for the end of the world because there's going to be radiation and all kinds of crazy stuff going on, right? So this is nukes from Russia and all that stuff. So um, what's going to happen is you're going to buy a bunch of really expensive stuff that's in this very specific niche, and then you're not never going to use it. You're going to wish that there was a doomsday so you'd have an opportunity to use that stuff. And once you start to kind of cement your thoughts around this idea that the world is going to end, it makes your quality of life go down quite a bit too, right? So that's one extreme, uh, but that's one of the bigger reasons why I, I would tend to say, prepare for what you expect and then work your way up, right? Because as you, as you get going with this mindset, it's a really slow burn. And eventually you're going to get to the point where you've prepared for uh, you know likely outcomes. And, and so then you start moving into the more niche subsets, right? And you can grow and expand and eventually you might be ready for anything. So, and that's a really powerful feeling to know that you're prepared for something because uh, oftentimes most people are not. <laughs> and even if you're just prepared in, in that mindset that you are prepared for something, that is a huge edge that can give you a one up on your competition as well as uh, provide you the strength to actually get through whatever it is you're trying to prepare for. So uh, make sure that you're constantly just thinking about what things you can do to make yourself better prepared for whatever it is you wanna prepare for. Um, something I like to do, um, I like to make sure that I have ample food in my house, um, and just in case there were a tornado that broke through, um, some kind of natural disaster like a flood and maybe um, emergency services couldn't get out to the house. So I like to have um, just some basic first aid, you know, uh, extra canned food, uh, dry food, stuff like that. And so one thing you can do really easily, um, and you'd be surprised at how much of a mental difference that this makes, but just whenever you go to the store, pick up five more cans of food that maybe you didn't otherwise think that you needed and then put those in a shelf somewhere and keep them <laughs> and you know eventually rotate through it and tap into that stuff but uh, it's just nice having a little extra food lying around and who knows maybe there will be a power outage that lasts for three days and uh, the the Walmart near you will lose refrigeration right and so you won't be able to buy necessarily the foods that you would normally consider but being able to buy with a credit card because they don't have any power and you forgot to have cash well you're gonna really thank yourself that you had those cans of beans stacked up, right? So it's it's for things that you may not necessarily think about, but just doing this one thing will help you be prepared for a lot of other things. And that's what I really want you to take away from this video. What can I prepare for that gets me the most bang for my buck so that as I'm getting started, I can feel more confident and grow my skill set as uh, my prepare preparedness mindset grows, right? And so really what you're trying to do is just take away that um, this lifestyle change that you're undertaking here, or I'm <laughs> trying to help you undertake, uh, is a really impactful one and one that you should really consider because it, it changes your whole way of thinking, right? And it will make you able to tackle things that you never thought possible. And it will open up many doors for you, I promise. All right, that's it for today. Thanks guys, if you uh, liked this kind of content, please leave a comment below, let me know, and uh, check out my blog in the description link below. Thank you.